All right, guys, so we're on to our second video of what sold. This is December 2nd right now. It's actually my wife's birthday. We had three sales within the last two days, and here they are. The first thing that sold was this Nike Golf Tour Performance shirt. It's a size extra large. We paid $2 for it and sold it for $14.99 plus about $5 shipping. Um, so we'll pick up a nice little profit margin looking to be about $11 after shipping and costs on our end. Next up, we have this Peanuts tree skirt. This was a retail arbitrage last Christmas, actually. We couldn't get it sold last Christmas time, but we picked it up in Walmart clearance after Christmas for, I think we picked it up for $10, and it sold for $29.99 plus shipping of $7.50. Um, at the end of the day, we'll look to make profit of probably about $16 or $17 on this guy. So be on the lookout for those post-Christmas deals. If they don't sell this year, they'll probably sell next year. At least you hope they will. And then the last thing that sold over the weekend, we sold our last king. I believe this is Balthazar. Um, for those of you who didn't watch the other video, we picked up a nativity scene off Facebook Marketplace for $65. It was all vintage blow molds, all in great condition. We have sold every piece. I think there were about eight pieces. We've sold the Kings for $49.99, we've sold the Angels for $20, so after everything's said and done, we'll probably make about $250 off of selling the whole lot. The only thing left is Mary, which we hope to sell here before Christmas. Hey guys, it's December 3rd. Today we had one sale and we sold our Pop Abraham Lincoln that we picked up the other day from the thrift store. This guy we bought for five bucks. He sold for $19.99 with $5 shipping. It'll probably cost us I don't know, about $5 to ship it, maybe a little less. And I think after fees, we'll probably make about 12 bucks. Um, but 12 bucks, five bucks. This thing's super easy to ship. Uh, we'll get it shipped out today. That's what's sold. All right, guys. So we did have one more sale happen today after I just fil finished filming the last sale that happened today. Uh, we sold this Von Dutch t shirt for $12. I think we picked it up for about $4. They paid a shipping of $5, so we'll probably make out about, you know, $6 or so after fees. Um, that said, I usually don't sell things that have that kind of low margin. This, however, is super easy to ship. I throw it in a poly bag, ship it out. Um, so it's totally worth my time just in shipping to get this thing for $6 profit. That's it. Thanks. Hey guys, so it's December 6th and we had a bunch of sales today. This might be the most sales we've ever had in a day, which is a lot for a part-time eBay reseller. But that said, let's cover them. So the first thing that sold was this vintage Wrangler outerwear vest. This we got at a garage sale over the summer for $1 and it sold for $34.99 plus shipping. So with that, we'll probably make close to $32. Um, you'll have to apologize to me when I'm looking off screen trying to get fees and prices and what we'll make. But yeah, we'll make about $32 off this, hopefully. Next up, we have a Ping G400 head cover. We picked this up off a thrift shop, I think it was at Goodwill the other day, and we paid $2.99 for the driver head cover and the five wood head cover. This was listed for $17.94, and we got $17.94 with free shipping. We'll probably make, I don't know, something like 12 bucks, uh, probably closer to seven bucks after shipping and after fees, but still for $2.99, it's really not that bad. Next up, we have a McDonald's vintage French fry holder. So I found this at a garage sale over the summer, and it's really a unique thing. Like it's just a porcelain, and you put your French fries in here and that's, I guess, how you would eat them back in the day. But we picked this up for a dollar and it sold for $19.99. After fees, after shipping, we will probably get about $17 because the buyer paid shipping too. So this is going to be a nice little profit for us. Next up, we had another thing from a thrift shop that we bought the other day. This is a JVC VCR. We picked this up for $7.99 and it sold for about $35. Uh, plus shipping. So after fees, after shipping, we'll probably make close to about $22 or so on this thing. I know these are kind of a pain in the butt to just wrap up and ship out, but they sell pretty quick and I mean, it's not that hard. So I figured why not pick it up. 
We got a couple smaller items that sold as well. We had a Sony PlayStation 1 controller. Um, this we picked up in a lot over the summer. We picked up the whole box of just random video game stuff for $20. This was in it. We sold it for about $13 plus free shipping. So after shipping, after fees, we'll probably make close to, I don't know, five or six bucks, but we're just piecing our, our cost back one piece at a time. We've already sold enough out of that lot to make our money back. So this is just free money at this point. So five or six bucks. Next up, we have a vintage Nintendo power cord. This was in that same video game lot. Again, we picked up the whole lot for $20. It just had a random assortment of stuff. These we sold for $14.99 um, plus shipping. So after fees, after shipping, we'll probably make close to about $13 or so. Last but not least, we had one more sell. Uh, there was two in the box and another one sold for $14.99 plus shipping, so we'll probably make another $13. Super weird though, we purchased them, listed them the same day, and almost 100 days later, they both sold on the same day to two different buyers. So kind of weird, but either way, happy to take the sale. So that's it, it's been a busy week for us. Um, gonna get these all shipped out tomorrow, but yeah, I think we'll probably post the video after this one, and we had uh, a nice little you know, sale today. Okay, so that's it. That's where we're going to end this video. I think the dates were December 2nd to December 7th, and this is how we finished. We had 12 sales. We purchased $43.96 worth of items. We made $405.21 in shipping revenue and sale revenue. We paid $150 in fees. And we made $210.74 as our net take-home pay, doing this part-time, picking up things over your lunch hour.